Reign of Terror. The first victim was Marie Antoinette. She had been in prison with her children after she was separated from Louis. First, they took her son, Louis Charles, from her. He disappeared under suspicious circumstances. Then, she led off a parade of prominent and not-so-prominent citizens to their deaths. The guillotine, the new instrument of justice, was put to work. Public executions were considered educational. Women were encouraged to sit and knit during trials and executions. The Revolutionary Tribunal ordered the execution of 2,400 people in Paris by July 1794. Across France, 30,000 people lost their lives. The terror was designed to fight enemies of the revolution, to prevent counter-revolution from gaining ground. Most of the people rounded up were not aristocrats, but normal, ordinary people. A man might go to guillotine for saying something critical about the revolutionary government. If an informer happened to overhear, that was all the tribunal needed. Watch committees around the nation were encouraged to arrest suspected persons. Those who either by their conduct or their relationships, by their remarks or by their writing, are shown to be patrons of tyranny and federalism and enemies of liberty. The promises of the Declaration of Rights of Man were forgotten. Terror was the order of the day. In the words of Maximilian Robespierre, softness to traitors will destroy us all. Done? Thanks. Yes.